Okay, so I redid it. We uh, reset it, sort of. I put the piece of plastic on the on the other side as well, so around here, and uh, pumped it up. Put some tape on it, and let's see what the first resonance is, and then pump it up. And I'll leave the camera here for a change. <laughs> and it's getting darker, which is uh, annoying. So that's a uh, 181 right at the bat. So I put some more air in it as uh, normal to uh, stretch it up. Let's pump some more in. I think it sounds much worse. Let's try this corner. So, not sure yet. That's a 91. Still far off. I don't think it's yet. That's quite a bit higher, I think. It's a 100. Frankly, I put that 10% in the thing. What is that sound? It's only coming from this corner, so. Can't see anything. Okay. 115. Yes, over, over. This doesn't work. doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't One twenty one. This is the point where a question arise, uh, arises Do I want to put it any further than this? I actually Should I sell for one twenty five instead of one forty? Maybe it's just not doable and I got lucky once before I'll spend the rest of the day uh, doing the same shit. It's still eating somehow. Things focus around sheet. Might get you. Three seconds. Let's move. Get it off too. Works better. It climbs oh so slowly. That is too bad. What I could do is relieve some of the tension by heating it up at the spots where it's uh, most likely to crack and then redo it, but not feeling much for that. 122. Oh. That actually didn't do fuck all. So that's not good. So either it's it's slipping or uh, or I'm overstretching the miler itself. bolt <coughs> Will I sell for 124? No. Must have now. No, not yet. I think this is the maximum I can get out of this somehow. No. Well, actually, it is 125. Okay, I'll leave it at that. I'll go for 125. I'll take my losses, I guess. Too bad. Okay, um, next step. Gonna put some glue on this uh, piece here, because this is the same width as um, the spacers on the frame we made earlier. So I'm gonna grab my 30 and F, 
probably gonna use the new can, see how it works, because the old one is empty. Be right back. So, I'm gonna clean the mylar first with some uh, alcohol. Let it evaporate, which is uh, gone in a few seconds. Got my new can of 30 and F, although it's a uh, 3M30. And uh, a piece of kitchen sponge here again. So let's uh, just pop it in. This stuff uh, kind of does smell differently. Or at least. I have the impression it smells different. Okay, okay so uh, this we cannot force dry because uh, the mylar will shrink, so I'll just have to um, actually wait before I'll do another coat. In the meantime, I'll can coat the, I can coat the frame. Coating the frame on an IKEA uh, bench, and there is no particular reason for that. I hope I just don't spill any, because yeah. I hope this is the same as the 30 and F, where I'm pretty much screwed. Then they uh, sold me the wrong can, or the right can, but with the wrong data sheet, which kind of feels the same. So, first coat, gonna force dry it and do another coat. Not very interesting because it's gonna be exactly the same. Uh, and hopefully the miner will be dry as well, give it a second coat, then we're gonna glue. So, I got the panel and uh, be sure that this side is completely clean because when the foil is attached, there's no way of getting stuff out, so. I'm just gonna drop it in place and see what the 30, 3M30 does. I hope it works just as good because I will be pretty annoyed if it doesn't. Now, just have to put some pressure on it and I might just be using my own weight, which is not much, but more than me pushing at it. This could well be me falling. Especially the people outside probably think, what the fuck is this guy doing? What are you doing? Don't stand in the middle of course, that's uh, quite obvious. Ooh. Well, let's see what it does when we release the air. If it completely goes um, back to uh, 50 hertz resonance or um, stays around 120, sort of. I mean, it will drop a little bit. First of all, because it will creep a little bit, I guess. And on the other hand, probably the metal is gonna bend a little bit, so it, it releases tension on the foil as well. Does it at higher? I surely hope so. Moment of truth. Don't release all the tension yet, because cutting is easier with some tension on the foil. Good. 
these are noises that usually uh, scares me. Scare me. Okay, so it should be free now. We gotta do some maintenance here. Just have to push it a little bit into the glue. It's a pressure, um, it's a contact adhesive, so. The more pressure you put on these, um, the better it glues. So it's good to uh, just run a thumb around the corner or around the, all the spacer. Is it as high as I want to? We will see because we're gonna measure it. Gotta drop it in place again. I think it dropped a little bit. How much? Not clear. Put the microphone on top of it. And we're gonna see what it does. Okay. So green was uh, where we at before we glued it. And uh, let's see where it ended up. I bet it's gonna be a little bit lower, unfortunately, but. That's uh, that's a quite annoying measurement. I'm not sure where it ended up. It's either at 95 or somewhere here. This is weird. What's happening? Let's uh, change over the panel. Let's try again. Ah, this looks better. So apparently, with the metal up uh, pointing upwards, it's kind of making a weird, uh, weird measurement. You can see it dropped a little bit. Uh, how much? No, other way around. So we see a nice peak. Green is at uh, 123 and red is at 118.19. Um, yeah, so we dropped a little bit, but there's one thing you have to keep in mind that probably the metal kind of bended a little bit because of uh, all the tension that's on on the foil. So if we straighten it out, let me see if I can show you this. Not sure if it is even uh, happening at this panel. I guess it is. I just tricked these plastic. So, actually, I'm going to move you. Let me just see what we do. Oh, you don't feel like that. Just watch it like this. We've got the panel again. So, this panel comes up. And you can't actually see it. Well, you can't see it. Well, you, can see it well. you can see it's touching in the middle, but not on the sides. This means it, it bended a little bit. So, when we restore this by. Um, bracing it or some kind like this pushing on it uh, it also increases uh, the tension on the foil a little bit so this uh, 3 Hertz we dropped or 4 Hertz it might be uh, compensated then we um, straighten out the metal again so although this is not 30 NF and it looks looks a little bit different it tastes different it smells different it might work. It might work. I am gonna drop it again in place in the um, into the jig and measure it again. Maybe leave it there and measure it again in an hour or so. See if it creeps. Ow, fuck! So drop it in place. Add the mic on top of it again, like this. see what happens so green is uh, on the jig I uh, don't want to smooth it out because okay red is uh, after uh, zero minutes on its own
and this is gonna be after five minutes. Did five minutes pass? Well, almost. If I can write normally. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so we compare the zero minutes and five minutes and it actually kind of looks quite similar as you can see so that's good so it's not creeping uh, insanely with the quad panels if you used uh, or didn't use the heat trip treatment before uh, stretching and stuff it really dropped uh, a huge amount in a few minutes already the first 30 minutes where uh, it was dropping a lot and then it settles so this is a good promising thing it's not the 160 I reached earlier, it's also not the 140 I wanted, but it's a 120, around 120. And uh, how well it works? I don't know, I never tried it. I never tried this panel with this resonance, so... Yeah, it might as well suck, I don't know. I think it will work, but... Just have to play with it some more to uh, be sure. First measure this one and maybe try another one. Uh, I'll leave this one for uh, half an hour or so, do something else, then remeasure it just to be sure if it's not, see if it's not dropping insanely in resonance and then we'll go to the next part and that's uh, adding some wires. We'll just start off with some tweeter wires and see what it does and uh, play around with it. See you. Okay, 40 minutes has passed because I edited the first part of uh, failures. Um, or maybe, uh, what time is it? Well, yeah, some something around 40 minutes, 30 minutes, I'm not sure. But we're gonna remeasure it and see if it comes close to the zero minutes or five minutes mark. Well, spot on. You cannot even see the green line because it's somewhere there. Green is uh, the measurement I just took. Red is the measurement we took when it was uh, just released from the foil. So no creep there, that's good. So actually the 30 not enough uh, seems to hold, which is good. Uh, still uh, did not fix all the stretching uh, stuff, but this is uh, at least uh, good to know. So the 30 not enough 3M glue is usable for this at least. Uh, must see how good it holds up to uh, tack the wires down, but for this it works, so that's good. Let's move on to uh, wiring, because I'm anxious to try the panel. That's the best part of this whole annoying uh, breaking uh, mylar stuff thing. Okay, 